Hi everyone, I am back with the final day of Power Up Your Smoothie and this week I'm featuring different ingredients that I love to add to my smoothie and I think this last one is really my favorite. The more that I've learned about all the different benefits, this one has been well studied in a number of research studies and if you're going to pick just one, this is probably the one. So what I'm going to be talking about in this video is collagen peptides and I'm going to try and keep this not overly long, but there's really a lot to go through in terms of benefits. So I'll do my best to not make this video an hour long. <laughs> we'll see how I do. So as with all of its supplements, Beachbody has taken its time with careful formulation and sourcing in order to provide us with a potent, pure, and bioavailable form of the substance, meaning there's no point in taking a, a, a supplement if your body can't utilize, can't absorb um, the form that you're taking it in. And you know, this is an issue with a lot of the cheaper supplements on the market. Like there's a reason it's so cheap. Like, it's not a good form of whatever the substance is. It might test high in whatever that substance is, but if it's in a form that your body can't use, it's not doing you any good. So this col collagen supplement, collagen peptides um, supplement just came on the market in the summer of 2019 um, after significant research and testing. Now, collagen is the main structural protein in the body. It makes up about one quarter to one third of our body's total protein content in our tendons, our ligaments, cartilage, and our bones, and it makes up about 70% of our skin. It works together with another protein called elastin. So collagen fills out the skin and elastin gives skin its elasticity. And because collagen is a protein found in the connective tissues of animals, there's no plant-based source for this. So there's no vegan collagen supplement. Um, sorry about that <laughs> if, if you're a vegan. But most collagen supplements are made from either cow hides or fish skins. Beachbody's collagen peptides come from bovine hides from a European source rigorously tested for purity. The collagen peptides in this product are mostly type 1 and type 3. Um, I'm not going to go into what that means, but if you're curious, that's, that's what it is. So as of this video, um, Collagen Boost is available in the United States, coming online in Canada August 27th, 2019, and it's expected to become available in the UK at a later date. I don't have that date yet. Um, if you want to find out when that happens, make sure you join my email list. There's going to be a link um, to do that along with the video. This form of collagen peptides um, is hydrolyzed using an enzymatic process to make it soluble in either hot or cold liquid. So you might have heard that, you know, basically like the health benefits of gelatin, that's from collagen, right? But you've got to dissolve gelatin in hot water. It won't dissolve in cold water. So this enzymatic process um, has made this, you know, collagen peptide powder soluble in either hot or cold liquids. So you can put it in coffee or tea. You can put it in your cold smoothie. Um, I like to put it in oatmeal, um, but really, you know, any type of, of drink or soft food. You could put it in like yogurt pudding. It doesn't have any taste or smell, but it adds a bit of a gelatinous texture to the food or the drink you add it to, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. Um, <laughs> um, it's mostly just kind of nothing, um, but you know, put it in your oatmeal and make it a little more sticky and gluey. I don't mind that. Um, some people do, so just be warned. Now, like I was saying, what's really interesting about this is how well it's been studied. So with a lot of these um, supplements, you know, the, the benefits... A lot of the other supplements, the benefits are, um, you know, it might be one or two research studies, but this has like dozens and dozens of studies. So if you want to see all of the citations, I cite a whole lot of them in my um, blog article about this, and there's going to be a link with this video, and you can go and read more and see for yourself. Now, I just want to say, if you order Collagen Boost through me, you will get a free sample of Shakeology to go along with it. So um, make sure you let me know if you do that, um, because basically, if an order comes through, I just want to know that you saw that offer and you're interested in trying Shakeology, um, the free sample. So send me an email and let me know that you heard about the collagen from this video and you ordered it um, and you want to get the free sample. And then I will send that out to you once I have your mailing address. All right. So um, as I mentioned before, 
collagen is the major protein that makes up hair, skin, and nails. Um, one of the main causes of fine lines and wrinkles is the natural loss of collagen from the skin. After age 25, our bodies begin to produce less and less collagen. And as it gets to be later in life, the body is not producing as much as it's losing. So overall, it's just, you know, being lost, eroded slowly. Um, but there's something we can do about that. <laughs> So I cite a study here, one study, I'm just looking at my blog post, um, sharing with you some of these findings. One study found that skin hydration and collagen density increased after eight weeks of oral collagen supplementation. Um, another found that participants taking supplements, collagen supplements for 24 weeks had a 12% increase in nail growth and a 42% decrease in the number of broken nails. Um, by the way, research suggests that to get the most out of your collagen supplement, it should be paired with a vitamin C supplement or with foods that contain vitamin C because your skin fibroblast cells depend on vitamin C for the synthesis of collagen. So I, I'm a big, I like pop vitamin C supplements, <laughs> not all day long, but at least a couple times a day. But you, you know, if you're putting fruit in your smoothie, um, chances are you're getting the vitamin C along with your collagen. Um, but just be aware, like if you're having it in your coffee, you might want a little something to go along with that. Lots and lots of, lots of studies finding benefits of collagen supplements for skin health. It also has benefits for joint health. So collagen helps maintain the integrity of your cartilage, which is the rubber-like tissue that protects your joints. We know what cartilage is, right? Like nose, ears, joints. So... As the amount of collagen in your body decreases as we all get older, our risk of developing degenerative joint disorders such as osteoarthritis increases. Some studies have shown benefits from taking collagen supplements in the form of reduced symptoms of osteoarthritis and reduced joint pain. Um, there's a study that found athletes had significantly less joint pain at rest and in movement after taking collagen peptides. Um, I'm not going to redo every single study. Remember, if you want to learn more, go to that blog post and check everything out. So what's really interesting, I'm going to jump down to athletic performance. So obviously, I mean, it's obvious that if you're having less joint pain, it would improve your athletic performance because you're able to move more freely without pain, right? But um, another study found it's, you know, a related benefit, but separate, that collagen helps support the connective tissues and promote recovery from intense exercise. So, you know, I've read certain places that like collagen can't repair itself. Your body can't repair collagen. So kind of once you wear it down in your joint, there's no repair process that takes place. Um, from what I'm seeing with these studies, that's false. Our body does repair it and collagen can help. Um, so correct me if I'm wrong, but, you know, looking at these studies, um, if you have, you know, starting to have knee pain and things like that, like there's something you can do about it. Okay, so let's talk about bones. Calcium is not the only component for healthy bones. Your bones are one third collagen, which gives them their flexibility. And as we age, not just our skin, but our bones as well, become susceptible to the side effects of collagen depletion. Adding collagen to your diet may support bone health by increasing bone mineral density, which is really what um, they're looking for on like a bone density scan and all of that. Um, several studies have found collagen has benefits for osteoporosis. So that's where people are losing bone density already. Um, but a co uh, collagen supplement will help um, slow that down or even reverse it. Uh, and the way, one of the ways they test that, um, they can test bone density, but they also look at, there's a protein in your blood that signifies that your body is breaking down bone, right? And like taking the minerals out of your bones. So in one study, women took a calcium su supplement combined with five, gra five grams of collagen or a calcium supplement with no collagen daily for 12 months. And at the end of the year, the women who had the collagen supplement had significantly lower blood levels of that protein that goes along with bone breakdown.
And now this is really interesting. Some studies have found that collagen can help to increase calcium absorption within the gut. So again, you know, if you're eating calcium or taking a calcium supplement, your body isn't necessarily absorbing it and using it. And there are certain things you can take along with it that can help your body to use it better. And collagen is one of those. All right, gut health. Now this is probably my favorite. Oh, I don't know what's my favorite. This is an amazing benefit of collagen. So it repairs and strengthens the lining of the stomach and intestines. Um, and this leaky gut syndrome that is affecting so many people these days, um, it can prevent that or ease the symptoms and make it easier for the body to absorb nutrients, right? Leaky gut is where the um, intestinal wall becomes permeable and, um, you know, things like undigested food particles are getting through the intestinal wall, which shouldn't be happening. And um, it, it kind of sets off this cascade of inflammation in the body, all of that. So you want to have a healthy gut lining, you know, your stomach and your intestines and collagen helps with that. It hel you know, your um, body is constantly regenerating those um, cells the, the walls of the, the stomach and the intestines, and it needs collagen to do that um, effectively. Okay, so kind of scientific speak for what I was just saying. Research has identified collagen synthesis as an important component in the process of repairing and healing the intestinal lining. When there is damage or inflammation to the intestinal lining, new smooth muscle cells are made to heal the stomach lining and the intestinal wall. Collagen production in the intestine is greatest when smooth muscle cells are being generated during healing. Thus, collagen is a key component to healing the intestinal wall. Supplementing with collagen may help to repair and heal the stomach lining. Um, and there are study links with all of this. Now, the two main amino acids and collagen peptides, I believe they're pronounced glycine and proline, G-L-Y-C-I-N-E, and P-R-O-L-I-N-E. These amino acids may help, so this is like the mechanism, like how does collagen do this? Those two amino acids help heal the stomach lining and prevent um, stress-induced ulcers through their positive impact on the central nervous system. Studies have identified glycine in particular as an effective inhibitor of stomach ulcers due to its ability to prevent harmful gastric secretions in the stomach lining. There's citations for all of this in my blog post. Um, this is really interesting. So acid reflux is a huge problem for a lot of people, right? Okay, also thanks to that glycine content, collagen has been found to regulate the secretion of gastric juices by ensuring enough acid for proper digestion, but also preventing an excess of gastric juices, which can lead to heartburn, stomach ulcers, and other painful digestive problems caused from an overly acidic environment. Okay, another amino acid, glutamine, that's part of collagen has been identified as the, as the key amino acid for preventing inflammation of the gut wall and healing leaky gut syndrome. There's a study citation for that too. Studies have found decreased collagen levels in individuals with digestive imbalances. So that's like the reverse. Like if they've observed, if you don't, if you have one of these issues, it goes hand in hand with lower collagen levels. So hard to say what's cause and what's effect, but higher collagen levels are present um, when people have a healthy gut. Um, there is an association between inflammatory bowel disease and decreased serum collagen levels. And in general, the gut microbiome affects many bodily functions and systems. So by healing the gut, collagen can contribute to improved overall health. Uh, muscle mass. This is what was really interesting to me. Um, so our muscle tissue is partly composed of collagen. So it's not just the protein content of collagen. It's... Um, the collagen itself is necessary to keep our muscles strong and functioning properly. Research suggests that taking collagen may promote the synthesis of muscle proteins such as creatine and may also stimulate muscle growth after exercise. So, um, you know, if you're taking a protein supplement, you're helping to rebuild those muscles that you're breaking down during exercise, but collagen especially can help with the synthesis of collagen. So your body doesn't have to, you know, make it from other things. <laughs> um, one, let's see. So sarcopenia is a loss of muscle in aging. So this was a study of, of elderly men with sarcopenia. They took 15 grams of collagen daily in addition to lifting weights three times a week for three months. 
they gained significantly more muscle and lost more fat than those who only lifted weights. So um, having that muscle mass helps with bone density. It helps prevent metabolic disorders. Having muscle mass is really important for our health and it's harder to maintain as we age. So that's a really, really um, promising study finding. And then there was a study of long-term care residents with pressure ulcers. So that's where you, if you're lying in the same position for too long, you actually get a, a wound in your skin. Um, the people that had those pressure ulcers took collagen supplements three times daily for eight weeks and their wounds healed twice as fast as those who didn't take the supplement. So those are, you know, a big issue for, for elderly people who um, have, you know, limited movement. Um, getting an infection from one of those can really... Um, be very serious and you know it's 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 the end of life for some people so the fact that this can help that to heal is is really incredible collagen also provides structure to our arteries the blood vessels that carry blood from our hearts to the rest of our bodies without enough collagen arteries become weak and fragile this may lead to atherosclerosis which is a disease characterized by the narrowing of the arteries which has the potential to lead to heart attack and stroke in one study, 31 healthy adults, this is a small study, but they took 16 grams of collagen daily for six months. By the end, they had experienced a significant reduction in measures of arterial stiffness compared to before they started taking the supplement, and they increased their levels of good cholesterol, the high-density lipoprotein, HDL. Now, this I did not know until I started doing the research. Um, that glycine amino acid, that's the, the highest... Um, the, the one that collagen contains the most of, helps you sleep better and more deeply. It's an inhibitor, inhibitory neurotransmitter, which means it calms your nervous system down. Um, one study found that people with sleep troubles fell asleep quicker, slept deeper, and experienced less daytime drowsiness when given glycine before bed. Um, and again, glycine is in collagen. So I might try taking my collagen in the evening now instead of my morning smoothie and just see if I feel a difference. <sighs> Um, and backing up a little bit, so we talked about it, collagen is high in protein, um, so it increases feelings of fullness, has some dietary benefits in terms of leading people to consume fewer calories overall, like you'll eat less later because you feel satisfied by having more protein. But one important note, it is not a complete protein, so it's not recommended for um, you know, use as a protein powder, just it's you know, kind of an additional supplemental extra um, like the, the one that I'm using now has 20 grams of protein. Um, I use two scoops or small scoops. So, um, And then this one I also didn't know. Okay, I, I know this part. Our livers work every day to filter toxins out of our bodies, right? That's the function of the liver. And these toxins enter our bodies through the air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat, our personal care products, items we come into contact with, like touching a receipt paper, touching you know clothing with detergent um, residue or bed linens. Um, so there's a toxic load that comes into our body and working to eliminate that can be taxing on the liver. Now this amino acid glycine that's found in collagen acts to support the liver as it repairs itself. And that specifically was observed in a study. Um, this is probably, is it an animal study? No, it's humans because it was, well, this was alcohol-induced liver injury specifically that it was that was studied. But anyway, um, some really, really amazing benefits in many different categories of our health. And, um, you know, I, I hope you'll try this supplement. I, I would love if you would purchase it from me. But even if not, give it a try. Let me know how you like it. Like this, my whole motivation for this coaching business is leading people to better health. And I'm just very, very thrilled <laughs> that our company has this supplement because it is such a powerful substance. And um, it actually was one that I was taking from a different brand before we came out with our own. So that's even better because now I get a discount. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, let me know if you personally have experienced these benefits. I would love to hear about it. Send me an email. And if you want more fitness and nutrition tips, make sure you subscribe to my channel to be notified of future videos.